Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to do a review of the Edge Pro Gears Paint Books Ultimate Package. And I'm not gonna waste your time, so let's get started. Okay, now see, I have pretty much everything I need right in this little bag. Uh, this backpack was also supplied by Edge Pro Gear. And I have the only thing that doesn't really fit in the bag is the uh, tripod that I also got with the Ultimate Package. So I'm gonna show you how I basically unpack and get ready for whether I'm doing a demo or I'm doing a uh, just painting plain air or whatever. Right. So here you have your tripod and it's got these neat little little feet on the bottom that hook right up in there and it comes all together like this. Now the wonderful thing is of course it's just like a little laptop and you can pick the finishes that you want on the actual paint book. I opted for the walnut. There's several different finishes that you can select from. And this is kind of how it comes, if you can if you can see. Now you have these neat little bars, and one of the things that makes this quite unique is that everything's magnetized. Even these, these will hold your panels. You also have the ones that are a little bit wider that you can use your standard three quarter inch canvases go in there. I've actually used these even for two inch canvases when needed. It's I may actually lean up on the base here just a bit, just to hold them in place. Obviously, this is designed for a three-quarter canvas, but a, you know, a stretched canvas. But these work great, and I, I, I use probably both of these equally. Um, you can tell because there's paint all over them, right? Okay. So say you're working on a on a cloudy day. It also comes with a light. Now, I have had my Edge Pro um, for quite some time. Uh, I will say that the quality of the light is not optimum. It's actually a pretty inexpensive, cheap light. The one that I have, this it's, it's an LED, but I have to put batteries in it. I, it's not a rechargeable. The one that um, one of my students ordered, and she just got hers this past December. So I've had mine probably a year longer than she had hers. And her light was already a much better light than the one that I currently have. So obviously Edge Pro is listening to their artists and you know, they're stepping it up a little bit on some of their, their, um, their accessories that you can, you can buy a lot of these things a la carte if you don't buy the ultimate package. You can buy these you know, individually. And I do know now that the light is a much better light, but I have used this light, I've had no problems with it and it's wonderful if you're doing indoor demos and the lighting is not optimum, you've got this light. You can also use the light on several different um, you know, brightness levels. So this is a really good little, little thing. So this all came in the package. Um, it also came with an apron that you use for your, um, your tripod. Uh, I have never really, see, I've used it on some some situations where I can put my paper towels in it, uh, you know, a roll of paper towels. I've heard that like if you're painting on a windy day, you can actually weight your whole system down a little bit with a brick or something just to keep it from blowing over. Um, I've not had to use mine in that way, so I'm not really certain about, you know, I, could I live without it? Yeah, I could. Um, the... The new package now includes an actual apron. So you can keep, you know, it, it's an Edge Pro apron. I didn't have that option when I got mine, but you know, that's, like I said, I got mine a couple years ago. One product that I did order recently that they have an accessory is their tablet holder. Now, I will say this, this was probably one of those things that they definitely need to improve on. Just like they improved upon the light, um, now you can get a much better light. This is a new um, feature that they just had in there um, as an option, as an add-on. I have to say, um, it's not, maybe because I have a really old iPad that I use for my photo references when I'm painting demos, it's not strong enough to hold it. It doesn't um, the clamp wasn't holding it the way, it was just awkward. I would have to say that this really uh, could be improved upon. So, yeah, Edge Pro, if you're listening, you might wanna look at this a little bit. Um, 
actually, I even managed to um, tear it apart the first day that I had this and my son had to put it back together for me. So it's not necessarily even that user friendly, especially for somebody who's not really tech savvy like myself. So I think that my um, iPad may have been too heavy and it seemed to, you know, even, even this, the gooseneck kept just kind of falling over and leaning back. And one of my students that I encouraged to, to get the um, Edge Pro gear, who uh, I really hate this for her, but she spent the entire winter um, doing plain air in Hawaii, right? And now with the COVID situation, she wasn't able to get back. So she's just doing a lot of plain air on the beach in Hawaii. Yeah, tough life. But um, she said that what she had to do to fix her tablet holder was to use bungee cords to rig it up. Now, I'm pretty sure that wasn't Edge Pro's intention. I'm pretty sure they thought this would be like perfect. And I don't know if I'm doing it wrong, but I'm just throwing that out there for anybody else who's interested in this, it needs to be worked on. On the actual palette that you have, you have a glass palette here. And the glass palette actually is removable. You can push, there's a little hole up on the bottom. And in here you can store, they, they include a nice little, you know, paint scrapers. And uh, you know, you can put all kinds of little accessories that you might wanna have in your, in your pile here. Uh, again, everything's magnetized. I have heard that some artists actually will store blobs of paint. Now I can't even imagine messing up my thing like that but I've, I've heard that some will actually put their paint underneath here their wet paint and use um, you know this you know their the palette down to keep it dry and then it's actually you could just fold everything on top of it and it travels I just put when I travel with my kit and it's been with me uh, <laughs> it's been all over the country with me and it's been out of the country with me so when I travel with it, I actually package my paints in little Ziplocs. You know, I usually use the smaller tubes and I only take what I need and it just, and it all fits in my backpack. One of the other really unique things about this particular package is the fact that it's so maneuverable. And oftentimes I like to be able to paint vertically as opposed to using this as my mixing arena and then having to paint over it. I can actually maneuver this, if I see if I do this right, loosen up just a tad I can paint this way and I'll tighten it up and so I can still I can even if I have to move my panel and I want it to move you know paint paint with my panel down here of course I can take my little holders I could change the, the height or whatever of my panel that I'm working on and I can actually have my paint here and um, I can I actually because these are magnetized I can put the little uh, I can you know the little tiny uh, medium jars will actually be clipped right onto here onto the magnets so uh, I usually hold a rag or a towel in my hand all the time when I paint so I can wipe my brush off I have my holder over here I can use my paint this way and actually paint vertically which I like doing what I'm doing, especially if I'm doing portraiture or figurative work. Um, that allows me just to really see my, my flesh tones and keep it close to my panel that I'm painting on. This is kind of a sweet deal. I will say that I love, love, love Edge Pro. Yeah, there's a couple little bugs that they could work out. Maybe, um, again, if I was to reiterate, I know that they do have a better light now. I think they really do need to work on their tablet holder. But all in all, I think this is an amazing, um, amazing product a great setup and again i will say again that i am not sponsored by them so you're getting a totally honest opinion here i have used other pochard or just the old french easel type uh get ups and they're just too bulky too heavy and too awkward to carry and if you travel alone like i do and you have to get to places you don't want to have to schlep all that stuff around and the beautiful thing is i can throw it all into this one little backpack and uh, um, travel with my tripod and away I go and I'm, I'm good. That would be my overall uh, explanation of the Edge Pro gear. <laughs> and uh, I will say that I do do love my paint book. I will um, go ahead and let you know about their website on the end of the video so you can check them out yourself. And again, thanks for joining me. And if you haven't joined me before, I appreciate you being here. If you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell, 
give me some thumbs up. And until the next video, I'll see ya. Bye.